another miracle. This is a miracle. Is he's opening up the skies and the sun is shining. God is good. He answers literally every single thing and it's not a joke anymore. So um, we'll keep going. <laughs> And like whatever miracles he does in your life daily, he answers something, you say something, or you ask for something, like not for things though, you know, like he wants us to ask for like, you know, things that matter, <laughs> which is like love and joy and forgiveness and completeness, like things like that, like not like things, I don't know, you can ask for it, he probably will give it to you, but like he wants to fill you with his love and his promise and his truth and all that stuff first you know but he really wants you to like just trust him with your entire life that's it I, it's, it's easier said than done that's for sure because not many people can trust them with their entire life and I know that's why God is using me right now because you know I don't have anyone to like depend on or or anyone depend can go anywhere wherever I want to go like he knows that like he knows exactly he knows everything okay that's it that's it he knows everything so anyways this is like another thing this was um, June 15th right so um, Catherine Wynn came with um, Justin Trudeau uh, this was Friday June 10th and then all these miracles happen throughout these days and then um, this was, um, this happened, there was one for, um, June 16th, okay, or June 26th, sorry, May 10th to June 26th, sorry, I should have got this clear, June 26th, oh my goodness, okay, so, in May, when all this happened in my life, and God is, I'm listening to every single thing that he's saying, and I was willing to just leave quietly to the Philippines and not let anyone know anything and not record anything ever and just love on the children and be in love with him and that's all I needed or whatever. But now he's saying, okay, no, since May, um, people need him more here than ever. I was like, okay, God, like whatever you want me to do, I will do. And that's what he wanted me to do is record and talk and use whatever is out there to, um, help the brokenhearted and like the hopeless and like you know the lost and all that kind of stuff which we have a lot here and like depression sadness rain or shine or clouds or no clouds or whatever it is we he wants us to be glad right he wants us to rejoice in him and give glory to him because there's so much more to live for in life right and like there's so many people who are just depressed and sad but like you don't see the goodness of life like the fullness of life, the fullness of joy and hope. And honestly, it only comes from him. That's the only thing. You will never find it in partying. You will never find it in girls and guys. Not even in your, if you're married, your spouse, your kids, nothing. No, you got to find it in God only, you know. And I tell this to all my friends. I tell this to anyone, whoever comes by. It's only through him. He makes all things possible. Look at the cloud. I mean, it's gone. It's he's so happy he's just so happy so anyways um this is something so in may he told um he told me to go all out like for him here in canada and i was like okay i'm still supporting like bonfire obviously in the philippines like i mean like we're all part of it but um he wants us here everyone here to know him you know to live in the fullness of life to help other people right so in May, as you know, we did our bonfire event. It was for our birthday and it was to raise money for the orphanage. And um, from then or whatever, God was just saying like, pray for your nation, pray for your leaders, pray for anyone and everything, you know, to make this change, right? I don't know if you can see. Anyway, so I was like, okay. So that's when I went to, I, I knew in my heart, in my head, in my life, like, I was going to go to the parliament building and just pray for um, our leaders, pray for our nation, pray for the people, um, just walking around or whatever. And um, 
literally this day, June 16th. This is what I wrote. Okay. June 16th, I read, I wrote, God, you always speak. You speak. I got an email today um, that on June 26th, we will be praying for the government and the leaders. I was like, you have a purpose and the perfect plan, perfect timing to love and take over our nation. Um, I asked, and then I just wrote boldness, love, and joy. I think said thank you, and I said wow, because this is the email that I got. Why is my email on here? I don't like showing my email. Okay, so this is like the email I got, and it says register your church for government prayer Sunday. Okay, and this is the Sunday, the day before my birthday. Okay, so I get this email on June sixteenth. And they picked the date June 26th or whatever. I guess it was already planned, but I never knew anything about it until they sent this random email. And basically we had to register our church and they give us like, um, they gave us like a list of things to pray for, for our, our nation and the people and the leaders and just, you know, the hearts of the world kind of thing. And um, yeah, we just prayed the whole church. We prayed, we prayed. And like the amazing thing was like, I needed to bring this up to my pastor to make sure we, we can register our church, right? So the Sunday before or whatever, I, I had in my heart, like I'm gonna talk to her like after service or whatever, so that we can register. During her sermon, I kid you not, she got the email too. And she wanted to do this. Like June 26th, the next week or whatever, she wanted to pray. For the government so it's like god has the perfect timing for everything okay he's in control of all things and he makes everyone's heart if his spirit is alive in you there's only one of his spirits right it's the same spirit that lives in each and every single one of us it doesn't matter if you cannot speak english or if you cannot talk at all or whatever it is like his spirit is alive and it's the same spirit. So whatever he's speaking to us, he is speaking to the same wherever you are in this world, you know? Like if your heart is to um, help brokenhearted people or whatever, his spirit will speak the same thing, to do the same thing strategically in his way, you know? Because um, we cannot do this one by one, you know? I'm just doing whatever I can because I don't know what else to do right now and until he shows me and guides me which he did he brought a whole team of people which we started or whatever and we're working together God does that he'll bring all the right people with the same heart with his same spirit to move as one you know he doesn't want us to have separate churches everywhere he doesn't want us to have separate people living separately everywhere he wants us all to work together as one to move as a body to help the nation, to help the people, to help save the hopeless, um, the broken, the depressed, you know. And I know it a hundred million, billion, trillion percent that he will pull through. He will always pull through. I don't know when, but that's why he wants us, like me to do this is because the day that he pulls through and shows the miracles, the impossible, making it possible, um, people are gonna be like, you know, you know, now, now I gotta believe. You know, God wants us to believe and trust when we don't see, right? When we don't see the miracles yet, He wants us to trust and believe. But like, the world is now like, they want to see the evidence, they want to see the proof, which is fine. Like, He will show up either way, so we'll do whatever we gotta do. Um, and just yeah like continue just continue to pray 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 like in your alone time go where it's quiet like um where you feel like one with him not with distractions like music and tv and you know media entertainment your friends your family like in the way because the words that they speak to you like it's unless it's from god like you have to know within yourself like if it is from him or not you know and that's during your alone time you need your alone time with him it doesn't matter if you have a family kids or whatever like a spouse or whatever you need to make sure you have your alone time with him 
like even if it is with them you make, make sure you have that alone time with him because he wants to speak to you daily you need him first before you can help and love another okay and um i know he'll pull through i don't know when we wait in his perfect timing on his perfect timing in his perfect plan and um we just wait on him okay jesus loves you and don't ever forget that if you ever feel like you're like lonely or something like that just know that he's always with you he's always always